So we put in a lot of hard work over the last year to grow something that's super important to this farm. Yep. Grass. Boy, have we ever worked hard. My gosh. So no joke, this whole area looked exactly like that. There was a few pine trees in here, uh, literally nothing else. Yep. And we put pigs and some hay. And this is the result. Oh, we've had cow yep. and the goats in here. We're waiting for it to go to seed. Now we let the animals feast. But I mean, if you look, like I'm five feet tall. <laughs> Yeah, that's this about three foot tall grass. Three foot tall grass, if not even a little bit higher. Yeah. And we're about to put the milkers in here and they are gonna go bananas. All the milk goats and the jewel. We'll even let Milo have some for a little bit. Um, but yeah, we've been doing a lot of work clearing land. This is the goal. It just takes time. And hard work. Um, and extra time if you don't have a bunch of money. So Which we don't. We're going to, uh, we're gonna move some goats and a cow. We'll let you watch. Oh, I'm so excited to put my goat. <gasps> you didn't have audio on, did you? I have audio on, I just hit it wasn't recording. It wasn't recording! Well, thank you. Yay! What were you saying? I said that I love to watch him play. He's been running and like rolling in the grass and I mean running all the way down and all the way back and all the way down and chasing the goats, which they're okay with. They're all best friends, so it doesn't matter. It's not like he's scaring them or hurting them, but we worked really hard to have this. <laughs> yeah. And by worked really hard, I mean we did a little bit of really hard work and then we waited for mm -hmm. a really long time. And this has been growing probably for four months, four or five Longer months. Longer than that, the summer last year. Okay, maybe eight or nine months. Um, it's very tall, but... Yeah, three or four feet tall in certain areas. Oh, they're having so much fun. Yeah, we put pigs out here. Oh yes, They tilled it up and fertilized this pretty rough soil and we put hay out here and uh, they stimulated old seed bank and we added to it with the hay and this is the result. Can I just tell you the anxiety that that causes? Trying to get this booger on film, he's going crazy. He's chasing goats. Yeah, no joke. Look at him tromping through the grass. <laughs> yeah, he's in heaven. Yeah, I did. Yeah, all these goats are all amped up now too. <laughs> so just for the record, we don't have a whole lot of open spaces here. We live in the middle of the piney forest. Uh, so these animals have a lot to forage. They have lots of room but they don't have a lot of open space. Uh, we are working on that slowly. That's part of the reason we have them, because they clear a lot of land. It just takes time. Uh, it's really cool when we can let them out into a wide open space and they run and jump and they really enjoy it and they show it. It's cool. Free fence, except it looked like that. Yep, it all looked like that. I think there's a total of five fences 
four foot double spike premier one poultry netting thanks brian yeah much appreciated yep um but the cliche nothing in this world's for free is very very true because it was not easy to collect nope it was not easy to untangle and it was full of fire ants yeah well. that was not cool i have fire ants all over both my feet my hands i had to have jeff milk for like two days because my hand was so swollen i couldn't close my fingers yeah it was brutal fire ants are evil things but we have acquired man that's about a thousand feet of netting huh probably yeah five nets they're 164 feet each yep. does that include the green one? Oh yeah six i don't know how long that one is but anyways thanks Kristen. and the bulldozer thanks gene yeah much appreciated Woohoo! so this is going to allow us to clear uh pasture so we can grow grass also clear lanes so we can drive our polaris uh around the property easier and run this fence much easier not having to drag it through the trees anymore uh, i'm speechless all of this just dropped in our laps what a blessing yep uh, within the last few weeks uh, and we did not pay a dime much blood sweat and tears but not a dime for any of it traded for some colostrum oh yeah 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 which is fair mm -hmm. can we just stop and acknowledge the color of your hands and the state of the nasty of being a farmer yeah. nobody ever said being a farmer was like easy or clean glamorous this man is dirty 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 <laughs> all the time mine are clean today because i've been making butter normally mine are just as bad but I, I have pretty nails still so it's okay all right back to work i'm not sure how many days they've been out here but if you've seen in our previous videos our lawnmowers they're awfully pretty lawnmowers say that again they're awfully pretty lawnmowers you're not a lawnmower you're right i'm not that was my chore from 12 to 15 and, and tyler took over and it oh, was no man. longer my chore no bitterness there no. anyways moving right along uh these guys have been doing a fantastic <laughs> job uh mowing our uh yard right around the house uh, normally where the dogs are but these folks slowly and surely cleaning up the lawn for us. We don't own a lawnmower. This is their job. And they're doing a fantastic job, might I add. Thanks, goats. Thanks, goats. Hi, pumpkin. Yeah, we have been. All right, and the meat birds. We have 50 of them. We move them every single day. We feed them a specific amount of food each day. And they seem to be growing very, very quickly. 24 more days, I believe. Look how full all their crops are. Yeah, they Man. are stacked. Uh, Happy chicken. 24 more days. Yes, sir. And we will be showing you another chicken butchering video. You like the flavor of homegrown chicken? Yes, absolutely, and I like that I can't see the injection points of the needles where they stuffed my chicken full of salt water. Gross. Yes. So I assume you're saying you like it better than the chicken from the grocery store. Yes, there's really no comparison, to be perfectly honest. What about you? I like this better. Nice. Because yeah. I get to see where they actually come from. Yeah, that means a lot. Instead of just going to the grocery store picking up a chicken and putting it in your cart yeah picking up a plastic bag with the chicken in exactly it. Mm -hmm. yep no this is good and this is probably like... my favorite animal out here mm -hmm. i love my goats and i love the baby pigs and whatnot but i really love raising our food yeah that really makes my heart happy yep i'm a total hippie i like the way the earth smells and i like to raise my food yeah it's good in a skirt and pink um whatever these boots are mm -hmm. snow boots <laughs> i look super cute today yeah you do I don't even and care. so does libby libby girl you're so pretty you're so pretty all right folks what else we got here 
Oh, we bought more plants today. <laughs> Avocado's looking pretty happy, but we got some cantaloupe, I believe. Yes, we Let's did. See them. They're looking good, too. Yeah. Got these from the feed store. Our favorite friend, Mr. Keith. Very, very good. What did you get, Grant? You I get, got Grant? a sage plant. Sage. I yeah. like that. That's breakfast sausage right there, buddy. Mm. What else? I got a stevia plant. Stevia? I don't even know what that is. It's like a sweetener kind of thing. Well, yeah, but I don't know how you derive it or you just put it. I don't know. We'll have to do some research. Just take a leaf off and put it in my teeth. And... A spearmint plant. Beautiful. Do you have your own garden? Yep. Cool. You have your own garden? I have to share it with my boys, but yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah, very good. I do have my own garden. Jeff bought me a fiddle leaf fig tree because he loves me and he knew I really wanted one. So I have a big fiddle leaf fig tree in our house. So if you don't already, grow something. You can do it. It doesn't matter where you live. If you're in an apartment, inefficiency, duplex, uh, or if you have a couple of acres, you can grow some chickens. You can definitely grow some plants. Container gardens are real easy on an apartment patio. Mm -hmm. You could, you know, one container of tomatoes, one container of peppers, you know, and some lettuce. Lettuces are super easy to grow in a, in a window. And you have fresh salad mix all the time. There you go. Happy life. That's what I'm talking about. In the time of craziness, which is every time, all the time, grow some of your own food. What you got going on in there? I made a little caterpillar habitat. Tell me about it. So, I just found these caterpillars just somewhere mm -hmm. on the farm. And I was just like, uh, I want those. So I picked them up, went and found a jar, put them in there, put some sticks in there, put some leaves in there. And We're gonna see what they turn into, huh? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And it has some, uh, like so they can crawl up the mm -hmm. sides and not just escape yep that's why i only put it to about here <laughs> sounds good we'll see how they're doing in a couple of days all right <laughs>